I think for me, um, we saw Markham. CBiz oh, yeah. bought Markham. That's, that was kind of a big news. CBiz uh, merging with Markham to create one of the largest accounting firms in the world now. Mega merger, as described by Accounting Today. What are the details? So congratulations to all of you on the top 100. You all moved up one notch in, in your rankings. Because uh, CBiz uh, with MHM, who did a lot of administrative stuff for them, they were ranked number 11th. And then you had Markham ranked at number 13. So CBiz, which is a public company, is now buying Markham for $2.3 billion in cash and stock. Now, they're only buying their non-attest assets of Markham. And then the uh, MHM, which is uh, Mayor Hoffman McCann PC, that's they are acquiring the uh, attest assets. So this so, is the alternative practice structure that CBiz has? Yes. Or is it a different, are they related firms? They're related firms where right. they're a partner where they did certain types of work yeah. for CBiz. Yeah. Got it. Um, so this is going to combine, it's going to give them 10,000 team members and over 135,000 clients. Um, so one thing I was wondering about this was the SPACs, right? I mean, remember Markham and Ritham were doing the vast majority of SPACs. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went back and looked. It wasn't as big as I was like, even with all the SPACs, but Ritham really did a lot more of the SPACs. But Markham, so they uh, had one-fifth of its total audit fees, $184 million were attributed to auditing SPACs. So in the grand scheme of the whole deal, I think the SPAC stuff was just a teeny bullet point. Yeah. Right. Well, and my question about this whole thing is what's going to happen to the staff? Is this going to be good for the staff or is this going to be bad for the staff? And maybe it won't matter at all. It'll just be a different logo on the door. But there is one data point that makes me a little concerned, which is that of all the big accounting firms on bigfortransparency.com, which is a crowdsourced salary website that also allows people allows accountants to report the hours they work, CBiz has the highest amount of overtime of any of the firms. CBiz is a private or a public company and not a traditional accounting firm. So will Markham employees, staff, be working more hours now that they're part of CBiz? Seems probable. And this is the uh, concern I have with all of these uh, either publicly traded accounting firms or accounting firms that are being owned by being bought by private equity is well, how do you get profits out of these firms? If you're a traditional minded uh, manager in an accounting firm, it's work them as many hours as you can and bill as many hours as possible. So I, we'll see. How, so CBiz is a public corporation, so I'm assuming it's a full C suite, C -suite hierarchy of decision making. Right. Uh, yeah, not, I get. I would assume. I don't not know. Not a partner vote, right? Not yeah. consensus of all the partners. So how does that work? Like, if if Markham had more of the partner ownership model of decision making, the, they're the, just going to like throw that away. I mean, without more details, we can only speculate. Yeah. But I would speculate that basically the equity partners have been bought out. They are getting pay, paid either upfront or over time, and there will be no equity remaining for the Markham folks. So the 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 people who uh, are probably the most affected by this in a negative way are those managers and directors and non-equity partners that we're hoping to get an equity stake in someday. Because like you talked is... about last week, the non-equity partners. Right. Yeah. And that's no longer available to them. So will we see an exodus from Markham? If, if somebody wants to get equity, they're not going to get it at CBiz. I, unless CBiz has some sort of like employee stock ownership plan, but I haven't heard about that. 